Oh, wrong show. Wrong channel. Wrong person. Hey guys, it's Danny. As you can see, I'm in a brand new setup, and this or this will be my new background. Uh, my boyfriend got a new place, so I'm here most of the time, so I'm going to be doing... I'm not even going to say weekly or monthly videos because I'm going to try and put as many videos up as I can, but you know me by now. I fail. Um, if you didn't already know, if you haven't been talking to me, I've gotten a full-time job now, so it's a little bit difficult for me to find time because I'm a working adult human being and, like, what is life really <laughs> without work? And brisk. Sponsors available. <sighs> what? I'm just gonna do a quick little update on my life and what's been going on. Um, right now, look how long my hair is. This is after two and a half years uh, being cancer free and being done with treatments. So, you know, guess what? I don't have to see my secondary oncologist for a year now because things have been looking really, really good. Here's a little synopsis of how my checkups were going. I would see my doctor, like my local primary oncologist, um, let's say today I was seeing him. I would see my secondary oncologist in Toronto, who is my, who did my, all my radiation. Um, I would see her in three months and then I would alternate between the two so every three months I would go back and forth and back and forth. I went and saw my local oncologist three months ago and then this month, well the end of May, I saw my secondary oncologist in Toronto and she basically gave me the greatest news ever and said that everything's looking great and there's really no need for me to see her every six months anymore and we're gonna bump it up to once a year. So if I go see my primary oncologist in three months and he says the same thing then I'll be seeing each of them once a year which means I will only be going to the doctor every six months. Math. It's why I'm going back to school. <laughs> Big change going from every three months. Let me just kind of sum up how I feel about this whole in remission going for checkups thing because it is a really like awkward thing once you're out of treatments. It's hard to explain because a lot of people who haven't been through cancer or treatment or anything like that would probably be like, you're home free, like yay we can celebrate, you're fine now. But really when treatments end that's kind of when you're whole life starts over again like you're kind of reset holy crap I don't have to go to the hospital every five minutes like what am I gonna do with my life and it's really really funny because I was thinking about this the other day how I was really only in treatments for six months of my entire 24 years of life and it's crazy how readjusting to life after that six months really like it's difficult. Now you're completely unsure of your health, like even though you're going to the doctor every three months, it still doesn't seem like that's enough and like what if something happens and look. So now going to see them once a year or every six months even is like really surreal. It's really really exciting. That means I'm on my way to recovery, which means I can technically say I'm cancer free after five years and I'm coming up to that. So that's really exciting, but it's also like all those appointments are reassurance, so it's hard not to have that every so often. But um, my secondary oncologist also said that I'm going to have to start doing mammograms earlier just because I am more susceptible to having breast cancer in the future because of where the radiation was. It was all in my chest. As long as I'm going for my mammograms early enough and you know, for early detection. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair. It's not just like floating. You can't see. You can't see my hands. It looks so awkward. Anyways, so yeah, um, another thing that happened in my life is that I got diagnosed with pigmented purpura, which is a skin condition, which there's no cure and there's no reason why it happens. It's basically leaky blood vessels. Um, your red blood cells are like rushing to the surface. So like, 
um, on, behind my knees, my hips, and my back. Um, I had like, well I still have all these red and brown dots on me and they're not, they're not itchy, they're not dry, nothing. They just appeared. So I went to my family doctor and he basically referred me to a dermatologist and as soon as the dermatologist saw it he was like that's pigmented purpura and I was like whoa 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 what so I made him explain it to me <laughs> and then I googled it after because I was freaking out because he wanted to do a biopsy so as soon as you hear the word biopsy if you've had cancer before you kind of freak out he just said it all nonchalant like yeah we're gonna get you in for a five minute biopsy and I was like come again like what do you what do you say anyway so it turns out nothing's wrong um, but I did tell my secondary oncologist when I went just to make sure because I did have a blood cancer so I was just like kinda worried about it but not so much when I heard the results um, so she is going to forward on that information to my, my primary oncologist uh, because he's like the blood specialist so they're going to talk about that and next time I see him which is in um, we'll talk about that like in person and just see I guess what he thinks about it so that's what's going on with me that was supposed to be a quick update I've been doing this for nine minutes now so have a good day have a good whatever the length of time is that I saw you last to now to the next time that I see you did that make sense bye